Yo, what's a crack? So, obviously, we've got this whole Kyrie Irving situation with the Nets. They're at an impasse. I'll be 100% honest. When I read that, I had no fucking clue what that was. So, I had to Google it. And as soon as I Googled it and I saw the definition, I was like, holy shit. In my mind, I thought, I was just like, oh, he's gone. But, you never know. But, yeah, obviously, Kyrie must be wanting a long-term deal. You know, do his, his past actions, he, I mean, he, skill, yeah, he deserves a max deal. But, like, no. Like two years, you should give Kyrie Irving. Oh, I need some more. Two, two years, you need to give him two years, really. And yeah, the, they're at impasse. Obviously, the trades, you know, Lakers, Knicks, Clip, Clippers, Clippers. Like side topic, <laughs> trios of superstars do not work in the NBA. We've seen that. It worked with Golden State because Golden State is one of the best organizations in the NBA and they have like the most unselfish team and like or like you know what I mean like big freeze just don't really work anymore you need two the, the perfect scenario is two superstars well two really good players and good just good surrounding pieces Kyrie should not go to the Clippers the Clippers should not trade for him because the Clippers have something really good going on anyway it's crazy to think we're here it seems like it's nearly three years ago when he Kyrie left that promising Boston team to join KD. KD left, you know, the dynasty. Obviously, it's kind of the right move. You couldn't really just stay on the Warriors forever. His, you know what I mean? Like, the legacy would have an asterisk on it. But, yeah, this whole Brooklyn Nets situation kind of took a 180. You couldn't really expect this, to be honest. Obviously, if injuries weren't a thing, they'd be on one or two championships. But, you know, I could go to every single champion in the NBA and put an injury asterisk on it. It's just injuries are part of the game, but... But yeah, I think whoever trades Kyrie to Lakers and he's fired because you do not trade Kyrie to the Lakers. But if Kyrie leaves, KD is just stuck with a bunch of bad players. And should he ask out? No, but it's very unfair on KD. If obviously if KD wants Kyrie back on the team, he'll be back. You have to listen to KD unless the Nets want to go in their own way. But it, it's crazy. Kyrie's a good guy. He, I like the way he thinks and that, but when he just goes to a team, problems just follow. So every team should be cautious on that. But what do I think will happen? I think I think he'll stay. I think he'll stay. But if he he's, if he's gonna get traded anywhere, he should get traded to the Lakers. But I saw a package. It was like Malcolm Malcolm Brogdon, Miles Turner to the Nets, someone else. Westbrook to the Pacers and then Kyrie Kyrie and said I don't know the Lakers fans are crazy with their trade ideas the Nets still have a good window to just compete it'd be dumb to trade away Kyrie but you should just you know do what you need to keep him trade away what you can and build a better team because this team can still win all yo it was crack so <laughs> after the draft Kate you know it's looking rough for the Nets I can't lie Kyrie looks like he's leaving and if Kyrie leaves Kate well Sources say, it's more than sounds sham saying it, so we gotta believe it. That KD will request a trade, and it's like, oh my god, bro. <sighs> How is this happening? It's crazy. <laughs> the NBA is crazy. I, I don't believe it. This might be on the my touches to Kyrie video. Um, I've not uploaded yet, or I'll just make it separate because it's two different lots of the same topic. But wow, a whole a whole pandemic caused. A possible dynasty crazy crazy where where should kd get traded i hope he gets traded to the sixers that's a possibility we give him tobias and maxi i would give up maxi for Ke kevin durant come on him james Harden, mb that's a championship maxi is going to be like possibly a hall of famer i can't lie i definitely see him being a hall of famer but when you have to get i mean kd retires he'll probably be top 10 so if you can get a top 10 player aligned with one of the best players in the nba and like james harden Come on, do, you do that. You do that. So, obviously, both teams, well, Kyrie, I think he'll go to the Lakers or the Knicks. I don't, I don't think he'll stay anymore. It's too much. Like, once the rumors get this far deep in the NBA, it's just over. Like, it's over. The rumors have gone too deep. It's like, they're gone. Like, it's inevitable, I think. So, yeah, I think Kyrie will go to the Lakers or the Heat. KD is either going to the Sixers or the Thunder. Or I don't know to be honest. We'll, we'll find out. I'm not not not. I'm not no expert, but whew, this is absolutely crazy. It was crazy as possible a year ago. 
one year ago. It's like, okay, that's natural injury. They're coming back to win. One year later, they're breaking up. Even the start of last season, you know, after the Bucks won, it's like, okay, the Nets, they've got the best trio. Obviously, like, bro, Kevin, Kevin Durant didn't get injured. James Harden would probably still be there, and this isn't happening. Like, injuries and a pandemic have just ruined this team. It's crazy. Obviously, yes, I have to work recording this. I don't care. But, yeah. NBA is crazy. The whole NBA can look different in a whole month. Obviously, Bradley Beal still got to go somewhere. Like, so many players got to move. You know, will Kyrie go to the Clippers? Will KD go to the Clippers? The Clippers. It's in the last video. I don't think big freeze work. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe six or shooting? I don't know. But Sixers did get Deontay Melton. I think that's a solid trade. Obviously, Donnie Green hurts to see him go. One of my favorite Sixers players of the past. Not not like the most favorite, but he did good here. He did good here. I think we'd win the Hawks series if he was there. Just have a more complete team. But yeah, anyway. Obviously, this situation is crazy. Obviously, oh, I don't blame KD because if, you know, Kyrie's leaving yourself with Ben Simmons and, you know, a bar organization in the Nets. You gotta leave, you know what I mean? Obviously, it doesn't like a lot of people, all the old heads will be like tainting his legacy. Obviously, if he, go, if he joins Boston, oh my god, nah, he can't join. The, well, he can't join himself, obviously, but it won't look good, I can't lie. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. it is tough, I don't know, because obviously he, the new teams he joins are just the ones he's lost to that have gone to like the finals. But I don't know, I think Boston's as bad as joining Golden State, so. Wherever he does, it's going to be crazy, but <sighs> NBA's crazy, bro. I'm not like, who's the next team to, you know, fall apart? <laughs> is it the Sixers? Is it the Clippers? Who knows? Who knows? Is it the Lakers? Who knows? But all I know is that this offseason is going to be one of the best in the whole of the NBA. Peace out.